So hey, a lot of people have been asking, what's going on with the House on the Rock building? You see all the great stuff that's going on here during the week, but what is going on with the building? So let me take you and show you what we started out doing this summer is we were gonna be putting in a new electrical panel, which provides power to our house and to the building, which is down over there, okay? And so we had to upgrade our electrical service. But when we did that, the electrician showed us that the people who built our house had put in the electrical lines improperly. They had put them too shallow and they had put the wrong type of electrical line. So my shop over here where I work was having uh, the breakers were starting to melt. So we had to run a new electrical underneath the ground. This was the old electrical, as you can see, it's all rusted and it only runs about six inches below the ground, which is dangerous because it should be about 24 inches below the ground. And then we also had to run new electrical to our house. So we had to dig all of this up and run new electrical to our house over there. So we've got that done. But what should have been, you know, basically a couple weeks of work turned into a month of work because it kept raining on us. And then the water company came in and they were going to put in a new water line for us. So we should have been able to just run a trench over there to the building and we would have had water. But we again ran into another problem where the people that had lived here before, they tapped into the county's water line or a meter was uh, moved and so we kept finding leaks in our water line and so as you can see Sarah is over here because we're tracing one right now we just ran a new water line over here this water line down here is going to the new building and we just finished filling it all in but overnight we found that we had about a half a gallon of water down the bottom of this hole where we just put a valve. No, and so, it's not a bucket, of a bucket of water, five gallon bucket. So we can't just leave that. So now we're digging this back, trying to find where the leak is actually coming from. So that way we could cut it out and put, yeah, we're getting closer, uh, put a new, uh, joint uh, t-joint in there and fix the problem so let's do a walk through really quick so you see where we're at this is the carport that we added on to the building because we have a 15 passenger van and other cars that we uh, drop off kids we can pull right underneath here and they can get out uh, in all kinds of weather and then they go in through the side door which we moved all of our donated patio furniture that we've gotten into the entryway of the building. There'll be an opening right here that could go into the house if you need to go into the house, but you would normally, you could either go out the back door to the activity area we have for the kids, or you come in to the main part of the building, which we're getting ready to, we brought electrical and water over to what is gonna be a utility room on the side of the building. So we've got, this pipe is for our electrical that's gonna come up. And this pipe is our water pipe that's gonna come up. And we'll put a hot water heater in right here. And an electrical panel will be up here on the wall. This will all be enclosed. There'll be a locked door so that way no little hands could get into the electrical or hot water area. It'll all be enclosed on the outside of the building. This area right here will be a bathroom, a full kitchen, and then a nice big living space, uh, 
for us to have our couches and chairs because we have a Bible study that is like family type. We sit on the couch, read the Word of God together like a family should, and grow together. And then back here, this is all patio area that's covered that will eventually be concreted in. So we'll have a nice big patio area. There's a zip line that comes off and goes down the hill to that landing down there. We've still got our classic basketball speed shoot, our human foosball court. The throop court is down the hill down there where the kids play throop. And we just added this super slingshot this summer so we could yeah, put a ball in here and fire a ball up in the air for the kids to try to catch. So a lot going on here. Thank you guys for your patience, your love, your prayer, your support. Um, we really could not do this without all of our supporters that help us uh, every week. Uh, we were able to do back to school backpacks again this year. Um, we are still continuing to give kids blankets uh, throughout the year for their birthdays. Um, God is doing so many great things. So thank you so much for all the years. This is year number seven uh, for us. It was seven years in May that we've been doing this and we really love and appreciate all of our supporters. Thank you so much. Facebook? Yeah. I saw your Facebook on Becky's phone. I'm not gonna do it yet. Woo! Woo!